Hi, this Getting Started project will introduce you to the basics, ask you to apply what you've learned, and help you begin creating your own videos right away. First, we'll make a recording by welcome. clicking so this red button in the main interface, the and in the recorder, even though there's lots of options here, we'll just choose full screen and microphone around. audio uh, the first thing by making sure these two buttons are green. To the Later, you can learn much more about recording by right-clicking so on the recorder minutes, and around. choosing Recorder Tutorials. Really cool and but for now, when you're ready to start, uh, click great. record. And, uh, Camtasia will minimize, and you'll get a countdown. Um, across the top, when that's complete, you can start your demo, explanation, um, or whatever with narration. Sections Camtasia will record it all. Updated sections. So the when you're done, sections, for click example, the red icon in the menu bar group, and choose if you click Stop Recording. It actually takes you through Camtasia will place your recording in the media bin over here with the um, other video, audio, the other and strong, images in your project. The locations I'll show you how to add it to your video later. Out of Newcastle for term four. In the future, um, when you start with your own project, that you can have the first recording later. will the also be added straight to the area here called the timeline. So what you All right, to do it's your is turn. When you're ready, Go ahead and click this button to pause forward. the video and make a simple recording. When you're done, click play and to start this video again. Page that looks exactly if you need like to review now, part of the project the or you end up in the wrong system, spot after making an edit, use the playhead. That That's this triangle with the line to scrub through the video and find the right spot. Look for the visual cues that mark each section. Don't worry about messing up this project. You can always restore it by going to help getting started project slash password that you okay. set up now would also be a good time to save to your project in. however you started it at this point you log in, even without um, editing your video might be good enough to share like with this. others and to do this top, you go up to the share menu and select the your preferred the output classes, let's choose export which will give you classes, an mp4 video file this is great for viewing um, on most any device info, which give your video a name and choose export Okay, so Camtasia will export it, this. The first thing is, um, if then you're give you a for button example, to view it in Finder, entering where you can open it by double-clicking. Sure this particular project uh, might take a few minutes right to export, week. so okay, we'll hold so off on trying that out now. As I mentioned, week, you could stop here and have a complete week. video. However, Camtasia also provides you with a fully featured editor to help you improve your screencast. Let's go through some of the basics of editing that will help you clean up your recording and zoom into parts that are most important. Do is just make sure that there are several ways to remove mistakes from a recording or any media in a project. So we'll cover example, two of them here. Next week on Monday, Let's start with trimming the edges of media, since that's simplest. On the timeline, another, where you'll arrange your clips and do um, most of the editing in your video, class. just mouse over and the edge of a clip and notice how the cursor ready, changes um, to an arrow, class, you want to enter, and then you click and drag. On you can also use this so technique one way to resize the length um, of a the other way including annotations. The store first. Your turn. Hit pause and use trimming and to remove this cough from the recording. The <coughs> so run group will run click play Let's when you're ready to continue. It looks if you've trimmed like that cough this, out, you'll notice you it left a options. blank spot in the video. Um, you can either buy so I'll show you another way to remove a segment of media that closes the gap. Just place your cursor right before the part the you want term. to remove, and hold the shift key, they also then, then click train, and drag um, to make a selection. Week, twice a week in, you in can also group, drag up or down to include clips on multiple tracks. After you let go, you can also adjust the edges of the selection. For example, a run group in then, right-click and choose uh, Ripple Delete term, Range to have everything to the right on those to tracks the Tuesday, shift in Thursday, to fill the gap. Then you could just get, um, Click pause and try it for yourself by so removing um, You've got two the two the ums term. in um, so once you've done this that, section. Um, it'll just take Click you play again place when you've done that. Your details into actually you can find more tutorials about working and editing credits. on the timeline and what by right-clicking in an empty spot and choosing timeline tutorials. You can actually click on the class now, earlier, I mentioned that you, you could add your up. recordings, so as well as audio and images, to your screencast. The you can do this by going to the media bin and dragging the item to the canvas, which is this big section here where you're previewing this getting started project. Or you can drag it to the timeline. In, in this bat, case, drag sure the audio great clip to the timeline here. And then if you clicked on it without buying, pause the video um, until you've done the that. Product first. 
Finally, let me show you how to make details like text more crisp and legible by using zoom animations. Let's take this area for example. If I'm talking about it in my screencast, I should zoom in there so the viewers can read the text. And so everything else currently showing doesn't distract them from what's important. To add a zoom animation, go to the animations tab and drag the zoom in animation to the recording you want to zoom in on. It will be represented by an arrow on the media clip. Then, in the canvas, drag your video until the correct area is showing. You can also change when the animation starts or ends and how long it lasts by dragging the middle or the dots at each end of the arrow. Click pause now and zoom in on this part of the screen for me. So then once again, click follow play the again. same process when you enter run strong. Excellent. Or any of the now, classes, pause and drag the zoom out classes. animation to some so place likewise, later in the clip um, to see what that does. Notice how it so. scaled the video to fit everything in the canvas? That's great for giving viewers a larger context. All right, after you practice the basics, be sure to check out the tutorial viewer to learn even more. Go to the help menu and choose tutorial viewer. Take a bit of time to explore the different videos, articles, and the Camtasia course. These will be invaluable in helping you create excellent videos that communicate and teach. Now try creating your own project. To start, go here to the file menu and choose New Project. Thanks, and happy screencasting!